Hey everybody, good morning and welcome to our Thursday check-in. I love our check-ins. It's always so much fun to catch up with you from week to week, fill each other in on what's going on and get to know each other a little bit. So let's get started. Our wonderful Murray wore a special outfit for you guys because he just loves you guys so much. This is one of his favorites. So in Colorado, tell me how the weather is where you are, but in Colorado, you guys, it's 10 degrees outside. It has been snowing, snowing, snowing like crazy. We've had five snowstorms in the last two weeks. So it's been crazy, but I have an SUV and I'm used to it. I've lived here all my life. I think snow is beautiful, so I'm okay with it. But let me know what the weather is. So Murray is wearing his little snow suit for you guys and he just thought you guys would love it. So that's what he has on for today. This was a gift of his friend, um, his friend Becky. And so I just think he's just, oh my gosh, he's just the cutest. So we have a lot to talk about today and I am excited. So just to start us off, you guys are on here. If you're here with me, let me know how you are. What's going on? How is your health? Tell, fill, fill me in with just what is happening right now in this moment, the gist, okay? I wanna know the gist of what's going on in your life. So give me, a, give me a comment and let me know. Today, I am excited. We are going to the doll shop and we have all kinds of fun things that we are doing over the next couple days at the shop. So uh, I worked from home yesterday and which it's one of my favorite days of the week. My mom comes over and I feed her breakfast, lunch and dinner and she enjoys her movies and we just have a, a really nice day and I'm able to get a lot of my writing and book work done and a lot of the things that is just really, really hard for me to do in the shop because I'm crazy busy doing other things, I get a lot of that done. In my office, I have a big board where I have like a schedule and everything that I do. And I try and stay super organized because when you guys see something from me, it wasn't, and, and I think you know this, but it wasn't just created that day. It was usually the graphics and the plan and whatever I'm doing, it was created weeks, sometimes months ago. So I'm already thinking about the holidays. <laughs> uh, and by holidays, I mean Christmas. So we got, we got a lot of things that we are working on. Elizabeth, you are sad because it's Valentine's Day. Uh, girl, I can only imagine um, how you feel. And I, am, and I am covering you in prayer and love, girlfriend, because I know how much you miss him and how much you love him. And he is there with you. He is your special spirit Valentine. And we are sharing in that with you. So um, I'm sorry your heart is hurting, though. That's, it's just, it's just never fun. And we're, we're all kind of walking each other home with a lot of the things. Um, we have some big owies in life, as Michael Kanatis put it, when I was talking to him the other night. Um, and we were talking about just owies that happen in life and um, losing your spouse is one of them. So I am, I am sorry and hugs and prayers for you. Nancy, you were trying to walk. Girlfriend, I know you're trying to walk, but you made an awesome video. So you are doing a great job. I know there's been some highs and lows, but I saw your Valentine's Day, your stop motion video, and you're doing a great job with that. So I think that's so much fun. Hi, Marta. Good morning. So yeah, this is, um, I'm going to have to put Murray's outfit, uh, Murray's, Murray down because we are going to talk about a couple of the products that I have been using lately. And I wanna hear about some of the products that you're maybe using that might be beneficial to our community. And by products, I mean stuff I'm eating and drinking and stuff like that. So um, I'm just gonna share four of them that have been really helpful. And you guys know I like to do a lot of whole eating, whole 30, no chemicals, no, nothing processed, no nothing. I've, I've been doing that for years, but after the virtual convention, I needed to simplify my life a little bit to where I could just get things that tasted really good that weren't that bad, that I could just eat and order. I, I do a lot of grocery delivery. It saves me a lot of time. And I just... I started using some things. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Premier Protein. So myrrh, honey love, you're gonna to have to go down, but he loves you. Can you believe how, how um, poodles, they just, he gets groomed every four weeks, but I swear after like one week, he looks like he needs it again, but he loves you, Murray, much. Don't you Murray? Murray, much, he loves you, okay. 
So the first one is Premier Protein. It does have some junk in it, I'm not gonna lie. It's got artificial flavors and all kinds of stuff. It is not the healthiest thing, but you guys, they taste really good and they get me through the day and I keep them in the fridge at work and I'm gonna show you how I use them. So I have a coffee maker that will do a cold brew so if you guys like coffee, and it's funny that I'm making coffee right now that's a cold brew even though it's 10 degrees outside, but sometimes it's fun. And it's like a little morning power chocolate shake. So what I do is I get my cold brew. I'm gonna drink it down a little bit so I can have a little bit more room. And um, yes, Selena, Google is great for organic foods and recipes. Girl, I am an expert on organic foods and recipes. So it, it feels kind of weird to be talking about these, but it's what I'm doing right now. And so I'm gonna be transparent and let you guys know what I'm eating, what I'm doing, and what's been working. These have been working. So I'm using, I, I do this, and then I take my chocolate premier protein, check it out, and I put it, I use half. So I use half each day. And I put it in my coffee, there we go. Oh, it froze a little, so it's kind of thick, which is good. That's a good thing. You can use vanilla. You can use, they make an orange creamsicle. They make every kind of flavor, you guys. And it is just so fun. So I do not like to, unless, the only time I go to Starbucks or buy like expensive coffee things is if it's on a gift card because I just always feel kind of guilty spending that much money on a coffee when I have a nice, great coffee container maker thing here at home. It's a Ninja and you can get them at Costco. So I put my Premier Protein, half of it. I haven't tried vanilla, but they make like a caramel one and they make so many different ones. And then I just stir it, kind of stir it up. And it tastes like, I tell you what, it tastes like the most expensive coffee that I've ever had from Starbucks or wherever cafe latte all the things and one of these one of these is 160 calories so it's 80 calories because coffee has like basically zero calories so when you get one of those ex from starbucks they're like 500 calories or something crazy you could even put your own whipped cream on top so this is what i've been doing murray murray oh it's so good so then here's another thing i have been doing with the other half of the premier protein. In the afternoon, I, I like to have my oatmeal sometimes in the morning, but I also like to have it, you guys, do your little dogs do this? As soon as, as soon as he's not the center of attention, he turns into just a little nightmare. He is just so rude. He wants all the attention, but we love him anyway. It doesn't matter. He can do that. I'm gonna put him in this chair right here and think maybe he'll, Okay, so I take the oatmeal and I put the premier and I make it hot at work. And then if, instead of my milk, I use chocolate premier protein. And so it adds a bunch of protein to the oatmeal because with the oatmeal, you get like a nice carb, but it doesn't have a whole lot of protein and protein is what you need to help keep you full. So I put half of this in my coffee in the morning, half of it on my oatmeal in the afternoon. And it is such a great way to... Um, it keeps me full for a long time. So people are always commenting on how I, oh, you have this great figure and, and it's so sweet and thank you guys so much. But I do have to watch what I eat so that I can fit into those clothes and so that I can feel my best. I am not a skinny lady. I am big boned. I am 5'7 and I am a solid size 8, some, sometimes 10 sometimes six, it depends on the brand, but I do have to watch it. My family genetics are not, we're not skinny minis. So I, I don't, I, believe me, I like to overeat and do, do all the things and, and treat myself and do all the things. But on the regular, this is what ha, has been working for me. Okay, premier protein. Now, another thing, if you guys have, I know a lot of you have, because yesterday, uh, on Wednesday, we talked about Nutty Buddies. Now, Nutty Buddies are divine. They are so good, but they are not something you want to keep in your house because they are, now, if, you're, if you can naturally eat all of these things and you don't have diabetes, go, I mean, it's wonderful. But for me, uh, everything I say is always for me. 
Um, Celine, it's a lot of work to be a woman. It is a lot of work to be a woman. Like not, the hair, the makeup, the clothes, none of it falls out of the sky. It is a lot of work, but it's fun. For me, it's fun. I like being a woman. I would have made a good man, but I, I like, I'm glad that I'm a woman. So anyway, I have been having these and I have been um, giving them to my mom once in a while too. So these are called Smart Sweets and they are a candy that is really high in fiber. Um, it's free from artificial sweeteners and all kinds of junk. Uh, they sell these at Whole Foods, so you can so you know that it's not so bad when they sell them at Whole Foods. But a whole bag of them is 80 calories, and they taste like real gummy bears, real, pretty much like real gummy bears. So, and they have a sour one, which is my favorite. They have all different kinds of flavors. So I recommend these, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, or I just order them off their website because it's a lot cheaper that way. So if you've got somebody in your house that just wants to snack on something and feel normal, and by normal I mean just eat something that tastes like the real thing, these are really nice. So try some Smart Sweets and let me know what you think. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I wish, but it's not. I'm just sharing some stuff that has been working lately for me. So meal prep, one of the things that I do every single week now that I'm off the virtual convention, and I keep bringing that up because the virtual convention, I just, I, I, I only did the virtual convention. I didn't have time to do anything and I ordered in a lot of food. Um, but now that I'm off, it has been so nice to be able to get into a routine and to make some healthy food and kind of just know what's happening. So I have been making, and you guys have heard me talk about it before, salsa chicken it's so good so i use chicken breasts but you can use any kind of chicken you want you can use thighs you can you can use well i guess it's ma mainly breasts that you can use a combination of both i use the breast because it's the leanest and uh, i like to have just like a lean protein so you take your chicken breasts and i use three i use about four chicken breasts in a batch and you put your chicken breast, you, I season them with salt and pepper, and oh gosh, my favorite seasoning right now is the mushroom seasoning from Trader Joe's. <gasps> oh, it's so good. I'll show it to you guys later, but season them, and then put on top of your chicken your favorite salsa. So I don't like to show things that everyone can't get, but I'm gonna show it anyway, because this is my favorite salsa. It is so good. It is pepita salsa from Trader Joe's. It is seasonal. It is divine. Every time that I make salsa chicken in the crock pot, all I do is I put four chicken breasts in the bottom of the crock pot, I pour a bottle of pepita salsa on top, and I let it go for four to six hours on low, and then I shred it, and it looks like this, after I shred it, and you guys, when Derek, every time Derek tries it, he makes that look like this is the best thing you have ever made. It's so good and it's two ingredients and it's so good. But you can use any kind of salsa you like, green chili salsa, local salsa, paste picante, whatever kind of salsa you want, you can use. But I have been on the pepita salsa kick from Trader Joe's. It is so good. They might have it online. I'm not sure. But if you guys have a Trader Joe's, definitely try it out. Now, the last product that I want to share with you is not new to me. I have been using this product since high school. It has been one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to have because I love peanut butter. Raise your hand if you love peanut butter. Give me an emoji if you love peanut butter. And uh, hopefully you don't have an allergic thing to it, but I love peanut butter, okay? Have you ever had two tablespoons of peanut butter or whatever the serving size is? And I know two tablespoons is like kind of a lot when you actually measure it out. It still is not a lot. And I like to have a decent amount of peanut butter and, and then I'm eating like half the jar and then it turns into like a disaster. So uh, regular peanut butter is difficult for me to have around. It's just, I, I start eating spoonfuls and I think I'm having two tablespoons, but I've had like, 10 tablespoons on one serving and it, and it just becomes a mess for me. So um, I re almond butters and different nut butters, not a problem, but peanut butter, it's just so good. So here's what I use, PB2. Have you ever used P2? 
PB2. It is powdered peanut butter and it has 90% less fat than regular peanut butter and the ingredients are peanuts. It is so good. So it is peanut powder and you reconstitute it with water. And so do you guys remember that dessert that I posted last week? Not dessert, my breakfast. It was oatmeal and yogurt. And then it had this like chocolate concoction on top that looked like it was so decadent and fancy. Here's what it was. Chocolate flavored PB2. They make a chocolate flavored powdered peanut butter. It is so good. And all you do, and the ingredients are roasted peanuts, sugar, cocoa, and salt. It does have a little sugar. There are brands out there that don't have any sugar at all. Uh, Jif makes one. They have one at Costco. Go into any health food store or just, I got these at King Supers. They have them that don't have sugar, but the sugar is super low. I think the sugar is really low and it makes it taste so good. So you just reconstitute it. Two tablespoons is 50 calories with four grams of um, protein on the chocolate one, six grams of protein on the regular one. You can reconstitute this peanut butter, use it in peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, put it on top of your oatmeal, put it in a shake, put it on an apple, put it on celery, and you can have like 10 tablespoons for the cost of regular peanut butter and it's very concentrated, so it's very flavorful. So I don't even need more than two tablespoons. That's all I usually ever have. Last night, I took some of the regular peanut butter and I spread it on top a fudgesicle and it was so good, um, the regular flavor. So good, so I recommend this. You can get this on Amazon, online, grocery store, anywhere. The chocolate one is divine. So try that. Now, I bought these little meal prep containers that I have been loving and we wash them and wash them and they go through the washing machine and everything. They were on Amazon for a dollar a piece and I make little charcuterie lunch boxes for Derek and I. We, we pretend it's like a fancy charcuterie board, even though it's what I usually do for Derek is he likes cheese cubes in here. I'll put salsa chicken in here. And then I put veggies and dip in here. And so the dip will range from ranch to hummus to even Olive Garden bottles their dressing, their Italian dressing. And so you can get that. I just got that last week off of Amazon and it's, it's really good and it's been really fun. So I've been buying these, a 20 pack I think was $20 and they have been great for meal prep. So there's a couple things I wanna ask you guys. And I just, it's really fun to ask the questions so that we can get to know each other. Marta, uh, who said it's great on an English muffin? Chris? Yes, or a uh, rice cake with, with um, sliced strawberries or a banana on top. The chocolate one on a rice cake with a banana on top. Oh my gosh, so good. Wendy, we use the same meal prep for our family. They hold up well. Yeah, these containers hold up well. Derek will bring, he'll, he'll take a, a bunch of them and then he um, brings them back and then I just wash them and they, they're working out really well. And I, we, I do the same for my lunch too and I bring it to work. So when I want to, I want to ask you guys some questions to get to know you. And I know your, your answers are going to be a little bit different depending on what you love about life and what you value about history. But if you could go back in time and live in a certain time period for a while, so it would be for a while and then you'd probably come back to, and then you'd come back to real life. But if you could go to back in time to a certain time period, which time period would you choose and why? So that can be any time. You can go back to the beginning of time. You can go back to the Belle Epoque. You can go to the 1950s. I wanna know where you would travel and go back to. Mine kind of has some stipulations because the first thing I thought about was the 1850s to 1880s. So I could go back and buy a bunch of antique dolls. But then, I don't know if I'm able, when I travel back forward to my future, would I be able to bring them with me? I just think the experience of being able to walk into those doll shops in Paris and be able to buy these dolls, even if I couldn't bring them back to normal life, it would be so fun. Wouldn't that be so fun to go buy a brew from the store and, and pick out clothes or buy a here from the store and do that? So whether I could bring it back or not, guys, I'm going back to 1850s, 1860s, 1880s, 
and I'm going doll shopping. That's what I'm gonna do. So let me know what you would do and, and where what time period you would go to. So the next question is, besides our necessities, which we all have different necessities, what is one thing that you prefer not to go without in a day? I thought about this one a lot, and we're just, we're not thinking, we're not thinking deep here. This isn't like family or, we, you know what I mean? We're not thinking deep. It's just like, what's one thing that you prefer not to go without in a day? And mine's probably coffee. Speaking of, here's my premier protein coffee, you guys. So good. If you do this, let me know. I think you're going to like it. But um, so mine's, I really enjoy my coffee. That's one of the things that I prefer not to go without on a typical day. So let me know what one of your just things is, one of your just things that helps get you through the day. Elizabeth tea, for sure. Tea is so good. I usually have tea in the afternoon. In fact, I have it every day in the afternoon, especially since it's been so cold. I'd like to go back to the 1880s when there were so many discoveries made, new culture, science, new discoveries. It would be fascinating. Wouldn't it be so fascinating? I just, I think so too. I'm right there with you guys. Um, the Victorian era seemed peaceful. Coffee for me as well. Yeah, you guys. We're, I love how we're all on the same page right now. We're just all flowing, aren't we? Okay, now the last question I wanna know is, what would you do if you won the lottery? What's, what's one of the first things you'd do? So I know for a lot of us, it would be going and buying dolls, for sure. What's one of the first things you'd do if you won the lottery? Uh, for me, I would, the first thing I would do is pay off my house because then I wouldn't have to worry about a, a mortgage every month and things like that. And then I could just kind of like relax. And then the next thing I would do is besides dolls and the things that you guys kind of see me do, the next thing that I would do is help animals. I am, anytime there's any kind of like animal thing on Facebook that, that is sad. It sticks with me for like weeks. Sometimes I never forget it. I am very extremely sensitive to animals and things like that, especially old animals. So I would probably open up some kind, I don't know. If, if, you, if I ever become like some kind of major star, <laughs> and by major, I mean like, you know, on network television or whatever, and I'm like making some serious bucks. I'm going to be doing stuff for the animals. Mark my word, big things. Um, and I'm not sure what it is, but maybe it'll have something to do with dolls and whatever. But on my level, I am, I every month give to different animal charities and that are, that are really good and just out there doing that hard work. So it would definitely be something for animals. Pay off my house. Um, maybe take Derek and I on a trip. And then, and just kind of have some fun and relax. And then I would just, I would go back to real life. I would go back to work every day. I would go back to doing my Thursday check-ins with you guys and nothing at all would change. And um, that feels really good actually. So let me know. Pay off my doll, my, my house, then buy dolls and family. Yeah, mine was kind of the same. Animal is a fabulous cause, buy dolls. Guys, I would buy dolls too. I would out there, I would buy an Isana Walker. That's the first thing I'd buy. Um, it depends on how much I won the lottery because if I won it a lot, I would buy a Rochard. I would buy, I would probably buy all those bucket list dolls, um, such as like an A Mark. I would just go around and I would be some kind of like giant steamroller and it would make a lot of people in the world happy because it would create industry and they'd be selling a lot of dolls, but I'd go and I would buy a bunch of bucket list dolls and I would probably open a museum if I had tons and tons and tons of money. So, you know, hey, um, I don't actually participate in the lottery, but maybe since I'm putting it out there in the universe, I should go buy a ticket today. So it's all personal choices and our check-in questions and things that we chat about and dream about are just it's fun it is fun to dream it is fun to think about the what if and it's fun to just kind of 
let yourself imagine and dream and put these scenarios in your head together that give you maybe some motivation or some hope or um, some things like that. So never feel guilty about that. It's okay to say, I hope I win $3 million so I can take my family to Disney World and buy this all these dolls and do all this stuff that I wanna do, okay? I give you permission. Never, I just don't feel guilty about it because we're coming up on our affirmations here. Our first affirmation, and thank you to everybody who loves my dinosaur necklace. Billy Harris gave me this dinosaur necklace. I love it. It's by a designer named Lenora Dame, D-A-M-E, and she makes fabulous necklaces that are all really whimsical and fun and just really they're beautiful they're just so wild aren't they they're great and one of her necklaces is the dinosaur necklace so thank you billy harris for this incredible necklace i love it and i'm glad you guys all love it too so we just talked about what we would buy with with all if we won the lottery and we had this scenario of everything that would happen um and all the different things that would happen and i just said that you guys have permission to think about and to dream and to manifest those beautiful things to happen into your life because here is our first affirmation of the day. And you guys know at the end of our check-in videos, I like to give you some affirmations for the day, maybe for the week that you can write down, put on your mirror. If you guys are near a pen and paper, write them down, maybe use them the rest of the week and have some fun with them. So the, the first affirmation, which you know what makes me really happy is when I hear you say them out loud, which to actually hear you do it means you type them, you type them down, you write them in the comments, okay? Are you ready for our first one? Okay, it is. I deserve my dreams. I deserve my dreams. I'm going to wait because I want to hear you guys say it. I deserve my dreams. You guys, you deserve your dreams. Okay. So never quit dreaming, never quit hoping, even in the really hard times where it just feels like it's too much some days to even get out of bed. I want you to remember that you still always deserve your dreams and never give up on your dreams. Okay. So remember that you deserve your dreams and affirmations are a wonderful practice because even if you don't deserve, if, even if you don't believe it at the time, when you say it out loud and you affirm it to yourself and you, and you do it, you do the work, you say it out loud, you start to believe it. Okay. So you can, you can write it down. Any affirmation I give you, you can say it out loud and maybe you don't believe it right now, but you want to. That's why you keep doing your affirmations. I deserve my dreams. Okay, the next one is, I love who I see in the mirror. I love who I see in the mirror. I know this is gonna be a little, a tough one for you guys because a lot of us struggle with self-love and a lot of times that is tied to a lot of things that are happening in our lives, such as health, such as grieving, such as hard losses, such as major life changes. And when those things happen, it is really hard sometimes to love ourselves. So what we have to do is remind ourselves that we love, who we see in the mirror. Okay, I'm gonna go do it. I love who I see in the mirror. It's hard to do, but if you can even sit there in a mirror and say it like that and really mean it, talk to yourself like how you would talk to a loved one. Lindsay, you can say number two, girl. And if you can't say it today, maybe you can type it in the comments, okay? I know it's a hard one, but if you can't say it out loud, let's take a baby step and type it in the comments. I know you guys can do it, and guess what? I love all of you. I love all of you. So if you can't love who's in the mirror today, I'll take the reins and love you. And then maybe tomorrow you can, okay? So here's the next affirmation. 
I believe in my abilities. I believe in my abilities. Sometimes it is hard for us to believe in our abilities, especially when on social media or whatever, we magazines, whatever, we see different things that show other people on these platforms doing all this incredible stuff and and it can kind of make us doubt sometimes what we're doing but you know what you guys are so awesome you are so talented you are so creative i believe in your abilities so say it out loud write it in the comments i believe in my abilities suzanne i believe it kimberly i believe it nancy i believe it girl you guys have wonderful ability. I see you doing things that I just think are so incredible and creative. And you guys are really great detectives and you do all this cool stuff. So good on you. I believe in your abilities and I want you to believe them too. Okay, the next and the last one that I think is really important and it kind of piggybacks on our abilities. Even if you're not able to do something, you have your own talent. Everybody has a talent, a special talent, and they were put here with their special talent. There is not one person in this world that I cannot learn something from. Every person I meet, I know I can learn something from. And so the next one is, I, I am blessed with talents that I love. I am blessed with talents that I love. And I love it when you guys tell me about your talents. One of my talents is connecting with you. I know that that is a talent and I am blessed with that talent and I am so happy that I can use that talent to create communities and to create a dialogue and to build bridges and to do all the things that I do. I am grateful for that. I am blessed with talents that I love. Elizabeth, you are blessed with talents that you love. Marsha, you are so blessed with talents that you love. Linda, I'm, I'm hearing you girl. Kimberly, yes. I am blessed with talents that I love. Lindsay, you are doing, Lindsay's mom, <laughs> you're doing great with talents that you love. You go Sherry. Nancy, you are blessed with talents that you love. So when you say this, I want you to brag on yourself a little bit. You guys deserve to get a little bragging on yourself because you were awesome. Susan, you were blessed. So I just told you about one of my talents. Maybe tell me about one of your talents. Marcy, you are great with sewing and drawing. And also, you know what? You're a great grandmother. You do so much with your little grandchildren and you are so involved. I believe that is a talent. Um, I think I see you guys doing all of these wonderful things when I see you posting in different groups or posting on your page you guys know I can't always comment but I be watching I see everything that happens <laughs> I see everything that goes on and I just think you guys are so incredibly talented and wonderful so I am blessed with talents that I love Okay, that is it for our check-in today. I will be back on our page uh, doing more of the Doll Shop Show later on today, and we're gonna show you some of the different fun things that are happening in the Doll Shop, but your homework for today is to say your intentions, maybe write them down, try them again tomorrow, and let's just you know stick with our theme of positivity and lifting each other up and just doing the best that we can because that that's the best we can do is the best we can and if you are doing the best you can with the information you have with the situation you're in that's it don't don't look on don't look back into the past and torture yourself because i want you to remember when you look back into the past you don't see anything new you're not going to see anything new. So torturing yourself with shoulda, coulda, woulda, or all the things that we torture ourselves with sometimes. And, I, and looking back in the past can, can be beautiful and wonderful. But I'm talking about from a perspective, Remy Lou, a perspective where it doesn't necessarily serve you. Try and make peace with it. And think about all of the wonderful things and good things that are happening 
now and what you can concentrate on now. Remy Lou and Remy Lou is concentrating on rubbing her butt all up and down our couch and growling while she's doing it. It is so unladylike. I don't know if I can turn my camera so you guys can see it. It's just the worst. We, <laughs> she does it all, she did it at 2 a.m. yesterday and I had to get up and stop her. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can hear her, but. All right, so we're gonna do that. And then um, if, if my food thing helped you this morning, and if you didn't see that, the video will be live on my page. Just watch the beginning. Remy Lou. Oh my gosh. Remy, get over here. Okay. If, if my food tips helped you, I would be glad to do that again. I am always from week to week trying different things and kind of get on different fads and tangents. Um, these are things that I've been doing for a while. It's always tried and true things I've been doing for a long time that I would ever recommend. And I hope that that is kind of helpful for you because I love hearing about your new things and stuff like that. Remy, get over here. You got, um, Remy needs attention. She gets so much attention. I smother her in attention. She's just, you know, bulldogs are funny. They're funny creatures. If you guys watch the addendum to the Christmas dress in the virtual doll convention yesterday, you could hear Annabelle snoring like a freight train. And it was so funny, but it was also, for me, it felt like home because mine do that. You can, you can hear them like three floors up. It's, it's wild. So thank you for the check-in. Thank you for letting me know what's going on. I will see you guys a little bit later in the doll shop and we will be doing some repair stuff and just letting you know what's going on at the doll shop. My, sometimes I do plan like what we're gonna do at the doll shop show, but 99% of the time it is not planned out, definitely not rehearsed. And I'm just showing you the organic activity of what goes on in our doll shop to get dolls prepped and ready to go out into the world. So I had a very good friend tell me sometimes they, they don't wanna see how the sausage is made. And I thought about that very deeply. And sometimes I don't know if I'm like showing too much or whatever, but I think, I think it's good. Um, and I know there's people watching that are just like, but I think it's fun. So if you guys enjoy that kind of content, let me know. If you think that I'm sharing too much and it's creeping you out just with like the doll bodies sitting there and stuff and, and doing all that work, let me know. Uh, I, I liked your opinion. Whether I agree with it or not, I, I do like to hear what you guys think. Uh, Remy is here, so hang on one second because she wants to say hello. Remy, no. <laughs> You guys, look at, look at this. <laughs> Remy Lou, tell them how much you love them. Tell them how much you care. Oh my God, you guys, this dog. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God. Oh. oh, these dogs crack me up. She's a, Selena, she's a female. She's a very feminine little girl. Aren't you, Remy Lou? She is the epitome of femininity. And here's our Merska Lynn. And then Dalai Lama's taking a snooze. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess, uh, wake her up because she's just, she's very comfortable right now. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Okay, you guys, I will see you a little bit later. Thank you for checking in. Uh, this video will be on YouTube if you wanna share it with anybody that's not on Facebook. And all my videos that I do live uh, go on my YouTube channel, which you can just uh, Google um, Rachel Hoffman YouTube and you'll find me. My picture is in the, you'll see my picture. And then you'll see, excuse me, all the videos. Okay, bye everybody.